Good evening. Tonight, police admit the West Mesa serial killer may have had more victims. Six more, in fact. Police don't know where those women are buried, but they do think they know their names. Here's News 13's Alex Tomlin. Dick, Jessica, investigators who worked the West Mesa site uncovering the remains of 11 women knew that one day they could be digging again for more of the killer's victims. The similarities are pretty close, uh, so I think any person putting this together would say, yeah, there has to be something more out there. What is still out on the West Mesa? There's a good chance these six women could be. Their backgrounds and lifestyles will sound familiar. All had ties to drugs and prostitution, just like the 11 women unearthed in early 2009. There was a lot of similarities, so I think you'd have to assume that there had to be some kind of connection. Investigators combed the area for weeks, all under the direction of Deputy Chief Paul Feist. We flew the West Mesa daily, over and over, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, imaging. Feist says investigators had been trying to track down a group of about 20 women who all went missing between 2001 and 2006, the time period when the serial killer struck. When cops only found 11 bodies on the Mesa, they thought there's probably a second burial ground. Investigators pulled detailed satellite images of the whole Mesa from around 2005. Any spot disturbed? Actually done some, some investigating on there, actually probing into the earth. They didn't find anything. Do you still think that these other six women may have been victims of the West Mesa serial killer? Personally, I'm very confident that there is nobody out left at 118th Street. Where the other six are, I don't have an answer. Um, is it possible that there's another site out there? Absolutely. Feist says the likelihood that all six picked up and moved without leaving a trail? Highly unlikely. Tips are coming in daily, and Deputy Chief Feist keeps a daily reminder of this case, too. When I sit in this chair and I face every single day, that picture is what the Mesa would have looked like in 2005 in the location where we... we uh, recover the remains. So the person that put them out there, this is what he would have seen every day. It is frustrating. Not knowing where these six are isn't the only thing frustrating the career lawman. The killer's identity is still a mystery. Are you guys any closer to anything? No, it's continuing. There's no one that I can say is, is uh, any, any higher on the list than another. As always, investigators say they have a handful of suspects, and as always, they say they're confident the serial killer is no longer a threat here, but won't say how they know that when they don't even know who the killer is. Dick? All right, Alex, police have figured out what happened to a few of the missing women on that original list of about 20 detectives found that they have died in ways and in places that are not related to the West Mesa serial killer.